Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. And today I'm going to show you how to make a withdrawal of cryptocurrency from an Engrave Zero cryptocurrency hardware wallet. So let's get started. So I get a lot of requests from people on how to cash out their crypto that they have stored in their wallets. So I did a demo on my Saturday night live stream using my Engrave AirGap cryptocurrency hardware wallet. I thought it would make a great example to share as a standalone video. So I'm going to give you some highlighted excerpts from my Saturday night live stream. So enjoy. Anyway, uh, let's fire this guy up. Let's do this. You can see this guy firing up. As you can see uh, in my hand that this is, this is a really nice uh, piece of hardware, right? Nice big screen, uh, very uh, safe and secure device. Okay, it wants me to enter my pin. All right, so uh, here is the main screen of the Engrave device. Now, notice you can see these apps. Uh, you can open them up, right? You can look at the receiving address, but you, you can't see a balance on this uh, because this is the private key. This, this device is the, uh, stores the private key offline completely. And uh, so the only thing it does is uh, verify transactions and store the private key. And, but you can also look at the receiving addresses, right? But you cannot read your balance on this device. And this is a big thing. A lot of people think the ledger should do that as well. I get a lot of people that, are, uh, that give me comments and emails about their ledger device, and they're in a panic because they transfer some Bitcoin onto their ledger device, and then they're looking on the device screen to find their balance. And the balance does not show on the hardware wallets, right? The hardware wallet component is the external part where the private key is stored, right? So you're not going to see your balance. You're not going to manage your balance at all. What you need um, to manage your balance is the accompanying app. Oh, let's see here. So this is the Engrave app. And um, this is the public facing part of the wallet. This is the part of the wallet where we can manage the cryptocurrencies. So I told you tonight that I wanted to focus on uh, cashing out. I get a lot of people that ask me questions like, how do I cash out my ADA from the Daedalus wallet? How do I cash out my Bitcoin from the Trezor wallet? How do I convert my Ethereum into cash off the Ledger or the Engrave or the Keystone? Uh, and in their brain, they're thinking that somehow they should like, like dollars should just fly out of the wallet, right? So uh, it's not that difficult to cash out your crypto when you have it stored in a wallet. But it is, uh, there's a couple of steps in the process. The first step is to transfer the crypto somewhere where you can sell it. I'm not looking at you guys, am I? <laughs> this wallet. Uh, so the first step is you transfer it somewhere where you can trade it for dollars. Uh, and that's generally a cryptocurrency exchange. Let's go through the motions of withdrawing this Ethereum to a place where we can trade it for dollars. And, and to, we'll go ahead and use Binance US as our example. So we'll go over here to Binance US. Let's get ourselves logged in. All right, so uh, we want to make a deposit of Ethereum because we have some Ethereum. So let's see, I'm going to go over here to Wallet. And I'm going to find Ethereum. If I can't find it, I'll search for it. ETH, right? And then I want to make a deposit of Ethereum, right? Here it is. I can click right on it. We'll say deposit. And then they're going to give me the address of the Ethereum account for my Binance US. So we can take our um, Engrave app. Right, we'll go into the Ethereum, and then we want to do a send, and uh, we'll t we'll uh, let me move this over just a tad for you guys. We'll do add recipient, 
and then uh, the recipient is the address of our destination, right? So every crypto transaction from point A to point B requires an address, just like if you, if uh, somebody owed me money for some work I did for him, and uh, he said, uh, I'll just mail you a check, the first question he would ask me is, what's your address? Right? I need to know where to mail the check, right? Give me your address. Same thing with crypto. You want to send crypto from point A to point B, you need to know the address of point B, right? So that's what we're doing now. So how are we going to get this address from Binance US? Well, within the app where we put in recipient, we can type it in ourselves if we want to, right? If we could do this whole zero uh, X business, I'm not going to go through all that. I might make a mistake, right? Much easier to do a scan QR code and just scan this address in, right? There's the address of my Binance account. The next thing I'm going to do is tell it how much I want to send. So I'll tap there in amount. Uh, I'll do send all. Okay. All right. So there it is. It's going to cost me 47 cents in Ethereum on $43. So not too bad, right? Let's do our preview and sign. Now, this is a request of a, a, a cryptographically formatted request to uh, sign this transaction, right? The, this is the request that says, hey, I need authorization. So where am I going to get authorization? Well, from the private key, which is on the uh, air gapped part of the wallet, right? Hey, I remembered air gap this time. So I'm just going to take my phone, right? Let's go over here to overhead. I'm going to take my phone that has this uh, dynamic QR code. I'm going to just lay it down here and then I'll pick up this guy. What I want is this little, there's a little icon up here that has uh, it's like a, a scan code, right? So I'm going to tap that and open up the camera on this thing. Right now it's asking me to scan. I need to scan this little, <laughs> that's weird. Uh, I need to scan this little uh, thing here. So let's go over here. All right, so I'm going to take this device and scan that QR code in, if I can do that. What the hell, heck am I doing here? Oh, I need to turn it this way. <laughs> I think I got it now. All right, there we go. Okay, it's looking good. Or is it? Okay, there it goes. I got a little progress bar now. Sorry, I got the mic turned the weird way. All right, so uh, that worked. All right, now what I have is, oops, no, what I have is this. Right? I have a, a, a well-formatted request that has now been registered on the uh, hardware device, and now the hardware device is asking me to authorize the outgoing transaction, which I will do by clicking the, the little button there that says sign. It's kind of hard to read. Yeah. But yeah, that little yellow button there says sign. So I'll tap that. I have to enter my PIN. Authorization, all right, and then I'll hit next. All right, and now I have the signed transaction, right? This is the signed transaction that uh, is authorizing the out, the public part of the wallet to, to send out the, the transaction, right? This is the authorization going out. So let's open up the phone again. All right. Now on the uh, app. All right. You can see the app here. I'm going to tap next. And now uh, this camera opens up, wants me to scan that hardware wallet now. Well, let's see if we can get this done here. Yeah, I got to figure out why that's OK. Good. All right. That worked. You could see the other screen over there. All right, so yeah, it was a little cumbersome, but very secure. Uh, so like a pretty cool wallet. So uh, sending uh, a crypto transaction out 
from an air-gapped wallet requires like the two scanning steps, right? First, the, the hardware device has to scan the um, request. And then it, when, once I tap sign, it generates a signed authorization, cryptographically signed, which I scan with the uh, app, right? And now my transaction has gone out and we should see the Ethereum come into the um, Binance US account shortly. Let's go over to Binance US and see what's going on with my, uh, oh, looks like the Ethereum did come in. That's good news. Let's go to wallet here. And yeah, so you can see we've got some Ethereum in here. Let's go ahead. All right, so how do we cash out, right? We took this Ethereum from the Engrave, right? How do I cash out the crypto on my Engrave? All right, step one, transfer it to uh, an exchange where you can trade it. So we can trade Ethereum directly for US dollar, right? So we just go to trade and go down to ETH US dollar trading pair. Then we go over to the sell tab and I'm gonna choose market, which I always do. And I'll just slide this guy up to 100%. We'll just sell it all. We'll hit sell and those two orders went through. We'll go back to wallet. And now you can see here that I've got $47 in my US dollar account on uh, Binance US. Let's see if we can withdraw it. Uh, I th I th it may be that it's, uh, we'll, we'll, click we'll click right here on the dollar account and choose withdraw. And how much did we have in there? 47, all right. So we'll withdraw $47. Uh, in you from the US dollar account to my uh, Lake Michigan Credit Union bank that's already been set up. We'll hit preview, we'll hit confirm. I'll put in my two factor for Binance US. All right, they're going to send me an email confirmation. Okay, so I'll click confirm withdrawal. There it went. So, uh, yeah, so. Uh, my available is 45 cents. My unavailable is 47. Um, we just click here and I have a pending US dollar withdrawal from Binance US. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Also, if you haven't ever participated in my live stream, I do it every Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.